I'm in Indianapolis, and someone hits me up on Twitter, and they're like, you need to interview Miss Pat, and they tag her. And Miss Pat's like, I'm in Indianapolis, let's do it. So I reach out, I'm like, hey, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do Bob and Tom in the morning, but then let's do a podcast after that. Bob she was like, Tom. she was like, okay. So I do Bob and Tom. And all the person said in the thing is, ask her about when her nipple got shot off. And so <laughs> I come back to my room. This is, I, this is so funny to me. I come back, Miss Pat shows up with her son, who's like, I think, like 30 at the time. And Pat, <laughs> and then Pat and I sit through a podcast, and her son <laughs> takes off his shoes and socks and gets in my, my hotel bed and goes to sleep. <laughs> he went to sleep in my bed. He just was like, and he just started, he snoring through the podcast. He's in my bed, and I was like, I'm not going to sleep in that bed. <laughs> Yes, to fuck you up. Yeah. Till I wake up. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah. He, she murder man. She was. She's so good, and she and I've known Pat forever. I love her to death. We, I took her on my cruise. She brought all the black people, like twenty five. <laughs> it was, and that was all her family, and uh, and they, man, they made the cruise so much fucking fun. Yeah, yeah. we definitely Pat, fun. Let's salute to Miss Pat. He said yeah. she brought all, all the black, black people. She yeah, said I it. believe. So if she wouldn't have been there, it would have been no. no it would have been the one, zero. It would have been.